Hello students, here we will discuss 35 MCQs from chapter number 8, Cell, the unit of life. Question 1. The most likely method used to determine the structural details of a cell organelle is Option C. Electron microscopy. It is the best device to determine the structural details of a cell. Its resolving power is 1000 times more than the light microscope. Question 2. Organelles can be separated from cell homogenate through Option C. Differential centrifugation. The basic principle involved here is sedimentation of particles by centrifugal force which help in separating organelles from cell homogenate. Question 3. Cell theory was formulated by Option A. Schleiden, a German botanist in 1838 and Chevon, a British zoologist in 1839, both observed many plants and animal cells respectively and they formulated the cell theory where they proposed the hypothesis that both animals and plants are composed of cells and their products. So, the cells are structural and functional unit of all living organisms. Question 4. The phrase Omenis cellula e cellula was given by Option A. It was given by Rudolf Virchow, who modified the cell theory and gave the concept of ominous cellula e cellula means new cells developed by division of pre-existing cells. Question 5. What is true about the genetic material of a prokaryotic cell? All the options A, B and C are true about genetic material of a prokaryotic cell. It lacks histones. It is not enveloped by nuclear membrane and is composed of a single circular DNA molecule. So here option D is correct. All of these mark D. Question 6. Dash are self-replicating extra chromosomal segments of double-stranded circular and naked DNA present in a bacterial cell. Option A. Plasmids. Plasmids are self-replicating extra chromosomal segments present in a bacterial cell. Question 7. The term glycocalyx is used for Option A. Glycocalyx is a layer surrounding the cell wall of bacteria. The cell envelope of bacteria has three layers. Outermost is glycocalyx, then the cell wall and then plasma membrane. Question 8. Which of the following statements about inclusion bodies is incorrect? Option C is incorrect statement and options A, B and D are correct. Reserve material in prokaryotes are stored in cytoplasm in the form of inclusion bodies. These are not bound by any membrane and lie free in the cytoplasm. But in option C, it is mentioned that they are involved in ingestion of food particles. This is the wrong statement. They are not involved in ingestion of food particles. So mark C as a correct answer. Question number 9. Which of the following is enveloped by a nuclear membrane? Option D. None of these. Typical bacteria, PPLO or pleuropneumonia like organism and viruses. All these three are prokaryotes and the genetic material in them are not lined by nuclear membrane. So, correct answer is D. Ma D. Question 10. Mesosomes are the infoldings of cell membrane which Point 1. Which are present in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell? This is wrong. Mesosomes are only present in prokaryotes. Come to point 2. Help in cell wall formation, DNA replication and respiration. And point 3. They increase the surface area of plasma membrane. These two points are correct about mesosomes. So mark B, point 2 and point 3 as a correct answer. Question 11. Tarun observed a slide of white blood cells under microscope. 
His teacher asked him to draw the diagram. Select the diagram which should be drawn by Tarun. Option B. Diagram given in option B should be drawn by Tarun for white blood cells. Diagram A is of red blood cells. Diagram C is of mesophyll cells. And diagram D is of columnar epithelial cells. Question 12. Select the wrong statement. Statement B is wrong and other statements A, C and D are correct. Pili and fimbri are not involved in motility of bacterial cells. Rather, they are known to help in attachment of bacteria to rocks in streams and also to the host tissue. Question 13. The motile bacteria are able to move. Option B. Bacteria move with the help of flagella. Question 14. Which is the most important site of formation of glycoproteins and glycolipids in eukaryotic cells? Option D. Golgi bodies or Golgi apparatus is the important site of formation of glycoproteins and glycolipids in eukaryotic cells. Question 15. Select the alternative giving correct identification and function of the organelle A in the diagram. Option B. Organelle A in the diagram is mitochondria which produces cellular energy in the form of ATP. So, it is also called as powerhouse of cell. Question 16. Which of the following statements is not correct? Option A. Lysosomes have numerous hydrolytic enzymes. This is the correct statement. Option B. The hydrolytic enzymes of lysosomes are active under acidic pH. This is also correct. Come to option C. Lysosomes are membrane bound structures. This is also correct. But statement D. Lysosomes are formed by the process of packaging in the endoplasmic reticulum. This is not correct. Lysosomes are formed by the process of packaging in the Golgi apparatus. So, mark D as a correct answer. Question 17. Identify the components labeled as A, B, C and D in the given figure of cell membrane from the list 1 to 7 given along with and select the correct option. Option A is correct. In given figure of cell membrane, A is number 1, sugar, B is number 2, protein, C is number 3, lipid bilayer and D is number 4, integral protein. Question 18. The lipid molecules present in plasma membrane have polar heads and non-polar tails as shown in the figure. Which option represents the correct arrangement of lipids in lipid bilayer? Option B is the correct arrangement of lipids in lipid bilayer of plasma membrane where polar heads is towards outside and the hydrophobic tail is towards inside. Question number 19. Select the correct statement regarding the cell membrane. Option D. Fluid mosaic model of cell membrane was proposed by Singer and Nicholson. This is the correct statement. Now, let us correct the other statements, statements B, C and A also. According to fluid mosaic model proposed by Singer and Nicholson in 1972, correct statement B will be, proteins make up 50 to 60 percent of cell membrane. Correct statement C will be, lipids are arranged in a bilayer with polar heads towards outside. And correct statement A, sodium ion and potassium ions move across the cell membrane by active transport. So here mark D as a correct answer. Question number 20, integral cell membrane proteins, option D, all of these. Membrane proteins are of two types, integral or peripheral. Peripheral proteins lie on the surface while integral proteins are partially embedded 
or totally embedded in the membrane and show lateral movements within the lipid bilayer. So, option A, B and C all are true about integral cell membrane proteins. So, mark D as a correct answer all of these. Question 21. According to the modern concept, cell membrane is option B, quasi-fluid. According to fluid mosaic model, the lipid is quasi-fluid means partly liquid and partly solid, which enables lateral movement of proteins within overall bilayer. Question 22. Many molecules can move briefly across the membrane without any requirement of energy and special membrane proteins. This is called option B, passive transport. Like transport of water and neutral salts, they may move across the membrane without using energy or special proteins. Question 23. Read the given statements and select the correct option. Statement 1. The cisternae in Golgi complex have cis phase and trans phase. This is the correct statement. Statement 2. The cis phase is also called forming phase and trans phase is also called maturing phase. This is also correct. Cis phase or convex cis phase of Golgi complex is forming phase while trans phase or concave phase is maturing phase in Golgi complex. So both statements 1 and 2 are correct. Mark A as a correct answer. Question number 24. Which of these is not a function of Golgi apparatus? Option D. Site of protein synthesis. It is not the function of Golgi apparatus. It is not the site of protein synthesis. Rather, protein synthesis takes place in ribosomes. But other options A, B and C are correct about the functions of Golgi apparatus. So, mark D as a correct answer. Question 25. Lysosomes are the reservoir of option D. They are the reservoirs of hydrolytic enzymes like lipases, proteases and carbohydrases. Question number 26. P and Q are the major sites of synthesis of dash and dash respectively. Option B. Lipids and proteins. In the figure, P are smooth endoplasmic reticulum which are the major site of lipid synthesis while Q are rough endoplasmic reticulum reticulum with ribosomes attached to it. They are actively involved in protein synthesis. Question 27. Mitochondria and chloroplasts are A. Semi-autonomous organelles. This is the true statement. B. Formed by division of pre-existing organelles and they contain DNA but lack protein synthesizing machinery. This is the false statement. Both mitochondria and chloroplasts are semi-autonomous organelles, have their own DNA and thus self-replicate or you can say formed by division of pre-existing cell organelles. Also, they have ribosomes, thus are able to synthesize proteins. So, mark A as a correct answer. A is true but B is false. Question 28. Which of the following is correct for the given structure? Option D. All of these. This structure is of section of cilia or flagella which are small structures which work like ores covered with plasma membrane. Their core is called exoneme. Exoneme has nine pairs of doublets of peripheral microtubules and one pair of centrally located microtubules. So, mark D as a correct answer. Question 29. Arrangement of microtubules in a flagellum and a centrio is respectively option D. In flagellum, the arrangement of microtubules is 
9 plus 2 and in centriole it is 9 plus 0. A centriole possesses a world of 9 peripheral microtubules but microtubules are absent in its center. So, arrangement is 9 plus 0 in centriole and 9 plus 2 in flagella as shown in figure of question number 28. Question 30. Ribosomes of the eukaryotic cytoplasm, chloroplast and mitochondria are respectively. Option B. In cytoplasm, the ribosome is 80S. In chloroplast, it is 70S and in mitochondria, it is 70S. Here, S is the Swedberg unit. Question number 31. In eukaryotic cell, the given figure is synthesized in Option A. In nucleolus, the two subunits of ribosomes, one small and one large unit, join to form a single unit. This formation is required for protein synthesis and it happens in nucleolus, which is the chief site for the ribosomal RNA synthesis and center for formation of ribosome components. Question 32. Amyloplasts, allioplasts and alluroplasts belong to dash category of plastids. Option C. Leucoplasts. They are the colorless plastids where amyloplasts which contain starch, allioplasts store lipids and alluroplasts are protein storing leucoplasts, a type of plastids. Question number 33. What does A, B, C represents in a given figure of chromosome? Option C, A is centromere which is a primary constriction. B is satellite, it is a small fragment formed due to secondary constriction on chromosome and C is a point of secondary constriction. 34. Refer to the given figure 1, 2 and 3, select the option which correctly identifies 1, 2, 3. Option A. Depending upon the location of centromere, the chromosomes are classified. In figure 1, it is metacentric, where centromere is located in the middle. In figure 2, it is submetacentric. Here, centromere is slightly away from the center. And in figure 3, it is acrocentric. Here, Centromere is situated close to the end. Question 35. Read the given statements and select the correct option. Option B. Statement 1 is correct and statement 2 is incorrect. Perioxisomes are found in photosynthetic cells and perform photorespiration. They also take part in lipid metabolism of animal cells. Perioxisomes are not the cell's garbage disposal system. Rather, lysosomes are the cell's garbage disposal system. So, here mark B as a correct answer. So, that's all for today. Thank you very much for staying with me. Subscribe the channel to get the information about my new video. Thank you. Thank you so much.